Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Terra Firma Craft. I'm Mr. Envelope, and today, uh, today I don't have a strict plan again, but I do want to mess around with a little bit more of the nether stuff. Uh, last time we went to the nether, and I asked you guys if, uh, what everyone thought about actually keeping it and stuff, and maybe doing some regular trips there, gathering resources. Uh, most of you guys were very excited about it, <laughs> and uh, you said we should definitely keep it. You know, it's giving more uh, more things for us to do and stuff, and you know that's that's what I was thinking. Um, and there were a couple people that were like, I don't know, man. You know, this isn't really in the spirit of Terra Firma Craft. And uh, what? Who? Who did what? I heard an explosion. I hope that was nothing important. Um, it was uh, Gunner Jonas who uh, pointed out that you know this this is not in the spirit of Terra Firma Craft, and you know the, every comment was pretty much saying like go ahead, go for it, and then uh, Gunner's was like, "Yo, bro, <laughs> this isn't very Terra Firma Craft, you know," and uh, I couldn't agree with that more. That comment uh, is what really made me think I maybe shouldn't be coming here and stuff um and I'm not trying to call out like Gunner or anything and say like it's your fault <laughs> that I feel bad about this um no it's you know it's a valid point and I couldn't agree more um but a lot of people did point out like we we got here through legitimate means um and it's it's pretty much all fair game and I kind of agree with that um, we we've done so much in terra firma craft we have done everything that we could really possibly do um, without like just repeating everything like we can just constantly build bases over and over again but that's gonna probably get boring for viewers and probably for me and I'll probably start to hate the game <laughs> um, and having the nether is just going to give us a whole bunch more stuff to mess around with. <clears throat> I'm going to try not to, like, abuse the nether, um, if that makes sense. Like, I don't think I'm going to travel through the nether. Um, I probably won't come here for levels or anything, except I don't really know why we would need levels. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how else we could really abuse the nether, but I'm going to definitely try that. And I think it's going to be really cool having quartz, um, so we can try to do, like, comparator things, you know, a little bit more redstone stuff. And that's that's mostly what got uh, a lot of people excited, just all the extra possibilities, and that's why I'm excited, too. Uh, and speaking of trying new things, um, Plabora was like, yo, this is pretty cheaty, but ender chests, you could totally make ender chests. Uh, I want to see if they're going to work, but if it does, uh, we're not going to keep it, because that's, uh, that's, uh, that's kind of way too against the spirit of Terra Firma Craft, the almighty spirit of TFC, <laughs> um, but I still want to try it. I don't know why I'm grabbing so much obsidian. Um, we'll make enough, we'll grab enough to make two, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll do, we'll just, we'll see what happens. And then we have blaze rods at home, and we have ender pearls at home, so that should be fine. There we go, pet the puppies, we're back everybody. Um, I got 16 obsidian and we're just gonna, we're just gonna see, we're just gonna see what happens here. <laughs> I have a feeling I know what's gonna happen, but we'll see. So we can make the eyes of ender, that's still here. Can we make ender chests? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Do they work? I don't know why they wouldn't. Oh my god. So we got ender chests. That's possible. That's cool. Oh, man. We can't pick them up though because we don't have soap touch. Oh, and some of you guys, uh, you were saying like I should enable some of the vanilla recipes because, you know, I, I looked in our uh, <clears throat> NEI and the enchanting table there's there's no recipe for it i'm clicking it i'm pressing r there's there's no uh recipe that we can do um apparently it gets disabled in terra firma craft like in the configs but you can enable it um i don't think i'm going to be doing that because that obviously by default terra firma craft doesn't want you to be enchanting so i won't be doing that um 
we're gonna try to limit how much of the nether stuff we use you know like we're not we're not keeping this get out of here I don't want to be tempted so we'll just put that away um, you can go there for now no I'll put this in the redstone chest I always keep my obsidian with my redstone stuff it makes sense oh we have repeaters okay well that's cool and then we're gonna make some uh, comparators now we're gonna need a lot of stone <laughs> These are going to be so expensive. Uh, does quartz powder have a use? Make a quartz block? Why would... Can't we just... Oh, daylight sensors! Look at that! That'll be fun. Yeah, you can just do this. That's cheaper, too. That don't make sense. Unless you get more than one quartz from crushing it. More than one quartz powder. Because if that's the case... No, you just get one. Okay. Because if that was the case, then we could use that to make our quartz pillars and stuff. Uh, some of you guys were asking, too, uh, if we can make the quartz blocks. Yes, we can. We can make the quartz pillars, too. I don't know if we'll use this for the museum. I want to maybe just use the terra firma craft uh, chiseled pillars. Um, in fact, I don't have any plans for how the museum build is going to look, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, we're going to need some stone. We'll use dacite because uh, we have plenty of that stuff. And then we don't use that. We use our inventory. We'll go... I never made the redstone torches. Ah, I don't have any redstone now. Wow, we did it. A redstone comparator. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. That's going to definitely help us out a lot with our whole redstone biz. Uh, we'll put that in there. The one last thing that I want to check. I don't know why this would be disabled. Yep, there we go. Redstone lamps. Ah, oh, those are ugly. <laughs> I really am not used to this ugly vanilla texture. That whole nether over there was pure garbage. <laughs> I, I'm really digging uh, Jappa's textures. I'm way more used to those. In fact, I, I use them in the, what's it called? The Project Ozone series now, too. Just because I can't, I can't play with the old default textures. They're too garbage. Um, but there we go, guys. That's I think everything that I wanted to test out. Um, I'm still trying to wrap my brain around though if there is a way to get slime. <laughs> I don't think there is because where's my little? Oh, I guess we don't get one. Um, I don't think there's a way to get slime. Yeah, I think we're kind of screwed with the whole sticky piston unless there's like an alternate recipe for a sticky piston if I could type nope only thing we could do is that but that's okay maybe we can try other stuff um, oh okay one last thing that I wanted to try um, there's two different hoppers that we have access to we have the TFC hopper which we've made before and then we have just the regular Minecraft hopper which does not have a recipe dang it okay so that, that also limits a lot of the things that we can do. Um, we have a Terra Firma Craft Hopper right here. Um, I use it as storage sometimes. <laughs> uh, we'll just put this in here. There we go. Um, yeah, we can't, we can't do a whole lot with this. We can't put it in a minecart. We can't, wait, can we? No, we can't. That's just a regular Minecraft Hopper and that's a regular Minecraft minecart. Okay, uh, this thing can still uh, hold items, but if we try to throw items into it, they will just bounce off. And I believe if we put uh, an inventory uh, above it, I don't think it's going to suck anything out. I don't know if I ever tried that. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not taking this. Or it might just not work with this too. We should probably go test other things. Um... But I don't think it's going to work, and that also means that we're limited with like the whole hopper thing, because I saw uh, somebody suggested that we make a whole item sorter, and uh, as great as that would be, I don't think we're going to be able to. And I'm not going to enable the whole uh, vanilla recipe thing. I, I, I don't want to go that far, you know? we got to stick to Terra Firma Craft, you know? Um, work with our limitations. I'm um, getting... Com Comparators, yeah, getting those guys was a pretty big step, uh, but that's about as far as I'm willing to go. Unless there's like a legitimate way that we can get it in the game without 
breaking everything really quick we're gonna put that down put this here and we're just gonna see yeah nothing's getting sucked out okay just want to make sure you know um, we could try with the vanilla chest but I still don't think it's gonna work because this is an entirely different item it's not like a vanilla hopper uh, but what you do use this for is uh, getting olive oil um, and that's something we have yet to do I'm pretty sure I have olives they should be around here somewhere oh there we go found them let's grab them all <laughs> uh, I might regret this but I don't know what I'm doing um, we'll go boom boom right and we put those in there and then we get a stone nope that's not right then we get a chiseled stone there we go and now this is slowly gonna crush the olives inside and you can kind of see in the bottom of the barrel right there we're getting olive oil very very slowly <laughs> I don't quite know what we do with the olive oil but we're getting it um, yep that's pretty cool so we'll let that go we'll put these olives away uh, they were right here. There we go. Uh, and we'll use up the rest as we, you know, go on as this finishes. It would probably be smart to have a few more of these set up, but that's fine. I don't really know what the olive oil does. Uh, I, it might just be like a food preservative or something. Maybe it makes food more flavorful because there is like a whole flavor mechanic, I believe. Oh, maybe there's not. Maybe I'm tripping. Oh, no. Hold left control. There you go. Yeah, there's a whole flavor mechanic. And I never really paid attention to it. So, yeah. There we go. That's going to do its thing. That's what hoppers do. We have all this redstone stuff. What to do now? Boop. 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 I missed. <laughs> Fire. 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 Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Fire. That'll be fire soon. Um, so somebody uh, requested that we do kind of like a base tour. Um, we have a few bases in the world and this is probably the, well, this is the most important one. This is our main base area. Um, it's, this is like pretty much where we spawned in. We spawned in like up here and then we moved down over here. Um, and the base is kind of large. It, you know, goes from where I'm at right now to over here so that's I don't know thousand blocks or so so right here is our pit kilns this is where we make our charcoal um, charcoals used as fuel in terra firma craft in case you don't know here's some charcoal that I've made um, yeah we just put the logs in here set them on fire and cover them with dirt or some other block and uh, they'll turn into charcoal over time uh, over here is where we have our tree farm it's pretty empty right now because we just planted uh, the birch saplings that we got, but as soon as we get more of those, you know, we'll slowly plant and farm as much birch as we can um, to store over here in the wood storage piles. Um, we have a pile now for every single wood type. By the way, guys, I know I may not have seemed excited last episode for finding all the wood and stuff, but I was very tired. <laughs> I was very excited, but I was also very tired, so it may not have come through, but I'm very happy that we finally have all the wood types. It's... That's just, I can't believe how long it's taken, like over two years and stuff, trying to get all these wood types. Um, but now we got them all, um, and this is this is where we store them. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, there's some woods that we obviously farm more than others, like uh, oak and aspen and sometimes hickory. Um, and over here is where we pretty much live. That house on the hill, that's uh, our main home where we sleep and stuff. Right here we got our little tannery section where we process leather. Uh-huh. Very cool. Uh, we do have a lot of leather. And I do process it like in between episodes and stuff. I just usually don't show it because it's pretty boring. Uh, here we got some puppies all over. That was a main quest in the series to get some puppies and stuff going. The, the main puppies that we're really trying to love are over here. These are just the parents. <laughs> um, but the puppies are right here. They're still growing up. They're babies. Um, this place has gone through a lot of changes, by the way, like our home and the tannery and stuff. And this spot right here where we process and store metals. Uh, they've gone through a lot of changes, but the whole idea and concept of them have pretty much been the same. We got our bloomery right here. It's where we first processed iron. 
just piles of resources to use whenever we need them. Got some crucibles to mix and match some metals. Um, got some forges underneath each one to warm stuff up. <laughs> uh, one of the more recent changes is right here, the um, blast furnace and the cellar. So this is where we store all of uh, most of our metals and stuff and all the alloys and everything. And here's the blast furnace bot. Yep. <laughs> I'm good at this. And uh, yeah, let's go inside the house really quick. Just take a quick peek. I thought about redoing the house a bit, but I'm I'm too lazy. Oh, yeah, I'm too lazy to really do too much here. Um, I wanted to have a fire here and a place to do uh, little uh, pit kilns. You know, to uh, harden clay. There you go. To do clay processing. Um, but if we put a fire in here, it sets the whole house on fire. So we can't do that. <laughs> um, got a small storage spot right here. We got our bed up here. And that's about it. The walls are decorated with a bunch of gems that I've picked up. Um, yep. Here's a bridge that takes us down to the subscriber orchard part two. Um got a lot of trees that people have requested and different items um down over here was the first subscriber orchard but we filled this up fairly quickly well i guess not fairly quickly but you know it filled up and we had to make a second one which filled up pretty quickly um each one of these trees is for somebody and yep that's uh pretty much it with this whole area just nice signs and stuff for everybody um if we come down here we go to our gardens these were supposed to be temporary but it's been like 60 episodes and they're still here <laughs> so what are you gonna do we'll make a greenhouse someday and right across the the way over here the little pond um we have our food preservation station this was a big project and i would say it's done i think it's done there's some stuff back here that no one ever sees but it's not looking pretty <laughs> um this is where we make uh, a lot of things for food preservation um and food processing so uh, in this spot right here we have our alcohols um, we made some cider we have a small orchard out back and uh, we use the alcohols to make some vinegars um, back over here we have brine which is like really salty water um, and over here we have some pickled food huh I thought we had stuff in here I guess not because these are full um, use the brine to uh, preserve food pretty much forever because food decays in this um, here we have a small kitchen where we cook some food sometimes this is our countertop where we make our sammies um, yeah pretty much that's all that oh but back here is where we have our outdoor grill <laughs> uh, we could cook a lot of meat and stuff right here which is very nice um, I'm a big fan of this area really like it um, there's the apple orchard back there that's just planted for making the alcohol and stuff the cider uh, if we come up back here we have a couple animal pens our three sheeps that we've managed to bring back home and trap over here two boys and a girl uh oh um, over here we got a mix of cows and horses uh, we recently lost our horse uh, like three episodes ago <laughs> because of me being dumb um, but this is where we get our milk and stuff, and we get horses to play with. Ah! No! You're gonna make me hit a horse, I swear. There we go. And finally, over here is where we got our pigs and our chickens. The chickens reproduce on their own like crazy, so I've separated the males and the females to kind of stop that from happening. And the pigs, if you get one pig pregnant, she will have a giant litter of piglets. And I recently had to kill a whole bunch. But that's not important. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much the whole base. We do have a couple other bases, but like I said, we're not... Um, I'm not going to go to them. They're too far. Um, maybe... Maybe next episode or the episode after, we'll go to the purple base. Um, and we'll work on the whole sulfur farm there with redstone stuff. Um, and when I'm there, I'll, I'll give a small tour. It's a, the other bases are much smaller. They're just like a home, pretty much. Um, but that's that. Yep. That's that's the base. Yep. That's the base. All right, guys, one more thing. Uh, this is the cellar. This is where we store all of our food, and uh, it's pretty low on ice. We fill this thing up with ice, and it keeps the place cool. This is working still, right? 
temperature below zero. Okay, good. For a while, this uh, cellar wasn't doing anything, and uh, it turns out I was dumb, and I just had to move something in the configs. But uh, it's working now. That's where we store our food. Uh, but really quick, I want to see if we can, or if this ice works the same as regular ice. It looks like it does. That's still sliding. That's pretty good. Ooh, real quick, too. No, wait. Pew. Okay, so I think it does go faster if I throw it. Ooh, is it melting? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what am I doing? Is it is it melting because it's uh, the heat? Because I was wondering and thinking, you know, we, we probably wouldn't be able to um, make a item sorter, like with hoppers and stuff, but we could still funnel items and entities around um with ice and if we can use this stuff then you know we can use that to move things faster <laughs> uh where's our ice there we go we got an ice saw right here so like if we're making a mob farm or something um we can oh man it's like all gone <laughs> uh we can use this to move the drops and stuff around to a single spot and then we can just you know manually go pick things up every so often um I think that could be pretty cool. Um, if we do a mob farm, I definitely want to do it here. And maybe like up there or something. It has to be somewhere not too close to the base, I think. Because there's like a spawn. Or not, not a spawn protection. Um, there's like a, a, a spawning protection thing. Where if you hang around in an area in TFC for a while. Um, slowly mobs will stop spawning in that area. Um... And if we, like, build it at our main base here, um, we will slowly have a mob farm that doesn't do anything for us. So we have to make it kind of far, but not too far. I think maybe on the other side of that hill or something we could do it. Um, and then we can have shifting floors. Uh, I think I've tried this before, having shifting floors. And I thought it wouldn't work, but somebody had suggested doing slabs. Um, shifting the slab floors should work. <gasps> Ooh. And if there's something wrong with chiseling them, then we can just use the quartz. Where's the quartz? Where's the quartz? The quartz. Or this. We can make nether brick quartz, or slabs, right? Can. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. There we go. Um, boop and boop. Pistons. Okay, we got pistons again. I know we, we have some, or we've had some somewhere, um, but now we got more. Um, you know what really sucks about not having hoppers too? <laughs> I'm all over the place. Um, what sucks about not having hoppers is I was hoping that we might be able to make like a hopper clock, but that's not going to be possible um, if we don't. If we can't get hoppers. Alright. So here we have. A piston. A half slab. And another piston. So hopefully we'll fall through. <gasps> Wait. Why didn't you work? Uh oh. Am I dumb? Oh. I think I remember now. The problem with these isn't that we couldn't fall through. It was that they're immovable. They count as like an immovable block. So, let's try this. Maybe this will work. <laughs> I assume it will. Oh, well, we're not falling through, but I imagine that if it went back and forth all crazy fast, it would be possible. Um, let me see if I can rig something up real quick. Oh, man. <laughs> we did it. Oh, but now that's going to get stuck. Um, oh, this is so dumb. Unless we can get like an actual timer or something, this is going to be pretty tricky to pull off for me because I'm dumb and I'm bad at redstone. But I did fall through. It is possible to fall through for an entity to fall through. We can do it. We can make a mob farm now. Except we probably could have always done this, because we had access to all this stuff, pretty much. Uh, 
Aha! There we go. <laughs> Did it again. Okay, so... Ah, what to do? With a comparator, we can do one of these. One of these good boys. Something... Something more like... Like this. Um, put that there. Um, maybe we'll get one of those and okay that's going too fast there we go <laughs> so we could do basic things like this oh yep and we'll fall through and hopefully other mobs will fall through too oh very nice except when we do this we'd have to make sure that um, we do the top slab because otherwise nobody will be able to spawn and I just thought of this too if we do it in the nether <laughs> with pigmen spawning we could maybe get some gold but uh, no we're not gonna do that but check this out guys we kind of have a small blueprint for a type of farm um, I don't I want to maybe try to not use um, the the nether bricks but I can't think of another way we could get um, a good slab going we need a good slab hmm and I think if we do uh, planks we'll run into a similar problem where uh, a chiseled block is gonna become a movable I think I would assume all right we got a plank right there yeah that's not working <laughs> Okay. Dango. Okay, well, yeah, that's not going to work. Are there any other any other blocks we have access to that I'm not thinking of? You guys let me know if you can think of any other blocks that we should try moving with a piston uh that are a slab that aren't the nether brick or quartz. <laughs> a lot of parameters. Uh let me know. Let me know and we'll see what we can work with. Um also two would it be dumb and irresponsible if we use the redstone lamps around? They're kind of ugly. I don't even know if I want to use them. I used to always use redstone lamps back in the day in 1.7, but man, now they're gross. Um, hey, I wonder if glass would work. That's kind of a transparent block. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, even if this did work, uh, mobs can't spawn on glass, so... Whoops! That's okay. Uh, but you guys let me know. <laughs> Dang it. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is gonna have to be it for this episode. Um, I know we did, like, absolutely nothing important. Um, but we did learn some stuff. We learned a little bit more about redstone, what we're able to do. Uh, we learned what we can do with the nether. And we set ourselves up with some rules. Um... But yeah, that is going to have to be it. Um, I'll try to have something better planned for next episode. Um, there's a couple things that need to kind of get done. Like a planning for an expansion for another subscriber orchard. Um, so, we'll do that in the next episode. But thank you guys very much for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Um, peace out and bye bye <laughs>